What's going on you guys? It is Wanny back on your screen bringing a brand new video in Greenville, Wisconsin. If you're new here, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below to join the Wanny family today. And today we are going to be looking for some project vehicles to work on. So let's head over to the internet right now and see what we can find. Oh my goodness, it seems like the local junkyard is having a sale. Bring a trailer, find any vehicle for $500, you guys. This is a heck of a deal. I think we're gonna have to go down there and check out what vehicles are there and maybe even pick one up. Hey there, good morning, son. Guess what? The junkyard is having a huge sale. They're trying to get rid of all the vehicles there, $500 for any vehicle. What do you think about that? Ooh, that sounds awesome. Maybe we could get my first car. Honestly, we might have to. I got the trailer out front let's go head down there right now and let's go see what we can find because let me tell you there is going to be a lot of people trying to find something today because that is a great great deal you guys literally any vehicle that you can take away today you can get for five hundred dollars so we're getting on the road right now i am so excited to see what they have available you just never know what you'll find there at the junkyard you know last time we were there son there was literally a crashed mybach you know, maybe they even have some crazy exotic vehicles too. What do you think we'll find? Mm, I think we can maybe find a Hellcat or a Maybach or oh maybe goodness. a Rolls Royce. Yeah, you never know. But let me tell you, I'm sure all the very expensive vehicles are gone because this sale has been going on for just a few days already. And today is the last day. Luckily, I checked the internet because we would have totally missed out. And I know you just love working on those project vehicles with me. But we are also probably going to be having our Uncle Tom help us out because let me tell you, he is a professional mechanic you know we are just DIYers and you know sometimes that does not always turn out the best right son <laughs> Yeah, I mean, didn't you get this car from the junkyard also? Yeah, we did. Honestly, we paid about 10 grand for it and had to rebuild a lot of different things on it, but it literally looks brand new. So I think this is the best way to do it and to get a very good deal on a very nice vehicle. So we're going to be pulling up at the junkyard in just a few moments. Hopefully they have some vehicles in stock and we can head home with one today and take it down to Uncle Tom's mechanic shop. All right, son? All right. Alrighty, here we are at the junkyard right now. I am so excited to see what they have available. Hopefully we can find something good. It is always hit or miss here. All right, let's pull up right now. Hi there, sir. How are you today? Hello, sir. I'm doing great. How about you? Doing well. We're still headed in today for the $500 vehicle sale. You still have that sale on? Uh, yes, of course we do, sir. And I see you have a trailer there, so you are eligible. Alrighty, sir. Thank you so much. We'll take a look and see if we can find anything. All right, perfect. Just come back up and pay me. Let me know. All righty. Thank you. All righty. Let's see here. Oh, son, what do you think about this old SUV over here? Oh, not a huge fan of that. Ew. Right? Ew. Ew. Nah, we'll pass on that. Oh, my goodness, son. Look at this. What is this? It's like an old Mazda. Everything is like rusty and burnt. Look at the suspension on this. Oh, we're not getting that. Ew. Too it looks like gone. a rusty turd. Too far gone. All right, let's see. Oh, what about this one, son? What is this? Ooh, like I like antique. this one. All right, well, that is pretty nice. Any idea of what it is? It looks like a 1988 Pontiac Firebird. Oh, that is pretty nice. All right, well, let's see what other options. This is definitely on the contender list. All right, let's see. What about this? Oh, seems like they got a Mitsubishi's Evo over here. What do you think about this? Not too bad. Uh, I kind of have some... Uh, negative feelings about this car all right we'll leave this one then oh my goodness son look at this whoa this is beautiful a dodge demon oh my goodness this is fully loaded look at this custom paint job on it as well it definitely is a beauty oh my goodness i think this is the vehicle for us what do you think son a hundred percent look it's even got the daytona package oh my gosh that is such a rare package and look at that even has the brembo brakes this thing is crazy all right we're gonna get the trail over here right now we definitely found the vehicle for us i am so excited to get this thing rebuilt it is going to be crazy but i am sure it has a lot of problems to end up here in the junkyard so hopefully we can get this thing on the trailer and we can take it home oh my goodness this is so exciting 
truly, truly so excited to get this project going. You know, it is always just so much fun to see the end result and end up with a really, really nice vehicle. All right, here we are right now. Let's get the trailer put down and let's get this thing down. All right, son, let's get these wheels strapped on here and let's get this thing on the tow bed right now. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, perfect. It literally fits just right here. Luckily, we sprung for the extended trailer. Honestly, this thing is perfect. I mean, the rear suspension is very low on this thing. It has probably been in a pretty bad accident, but you know, luckily, we got a great family mechanic to help us out. Are you ready for this rebuild project, son? Yes, I am. I'm gonna be the coolest kid at the school. I don't know if you can handle driving this thing to school. I think it might be a little bit too much. Maybe we'll have to come back for that Mazda for you, the little rust bucket over there. What do you think about that? Ew! No, no. I'd rather, I'd rather have to walk to school than drive no, that. No, you gotta be yeah. grateful. All right, sir. Seems like I found this beautiful Dodge. Here is 500 bucks for it. All right, perfect. Thank you. You have a good day now. Thank uh, you. I want to warn you about one thing. This car has been here for about three years. It's been through about five accidents and 27 owners. Oh. Be careful. Oh, well, wow. it might end up being his first vehicle, so it probably will have even more accidents, but we'll figure that out later. <laughs> All right, you have a good one now, sir. Thank you, take care. All right, son, let's get on the road down to your uncle's shop right now, and let's get this thing fixed up. I mean, you know, that's a little bit scary. He said it literally had over like 20 owners and so many accidents. Hopefully, we could get this vehicle running again. I mean, that is a little bit crazy, isn't it? I know, right? It's had more owners than, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has had a lot of owners, but, you know, that's not going to scare us. We can always fix it and make it as good as new, seriously. So, we are roaring down the road right now. We'll be arriving at the mechanic shop in just a few more miles. I mean, it is like on the other side of town, so hopefully we can get down there pretty soon and get this vehicle chucked out by Uncle Tom. You know, he literally knows everything about vehicles, and I am sure that he would be able to get this thing fixed up as soon as possible. I am definitely just so excited for that paint. It is going to clean up so nicely. I mean, it's definitely going to look so good, son. What do you think? Oh man, that'll look awesome. I see it glistening in the sun. Yeah, it definitely just needs to be washed, detailed, waxed, and I am sure it'll look as good as new. I know some of the bumpers are not looking the best, so we'll have to work on some body filler and get it looking as good as new, but otherwise, I think it is a pretty clean vehicle. It's just been sitting for a very long time, you know, which definitely can lead to more problems down the road, but I am sure we'll just change out all the fluids, make sure everything is running properly, in the engine, throw in a new battery, and it should run as good as new. Apparently, it only has 89,000 miles, which is pretty low for the year. Wow, I mean, nothing a little Bondo can't fix. I know, right? All right, I am just so excited for your uncle to check this out, and seriously, you know, you are gonna have one of the best vehicles in the high school lot if we could get this thing up and running. I know, right? That way I won't have to drive that crappy piece of trash. Oh my goodness. Well, you gotta be grateful, son. You gotta be grateful, because let me tell you, you know, it is definitely gonna be costing some money to get this thing up and running, but we are going to do the best that we can, and hopefully your uncle will give us a good price on fixing it. I know. Well, hopefully we can get that friends and family discount. I know, right? All right, we are finally almost at the mechanic shop right now, and we are going to get the vehicle dropped off, and he says that he's going to be outside to check it out and make sure that he can look everything over and let us know how much it is going to cost. We'll probably just leave the entire trailer over here, and then, you know, I am pretty hungry. Maybe we should head out to dinner. What do you think about that, son? Ooh, yeah, you know what sounds really good? What should we go to? Connors. Ooh. Connors sounds really good. I think we'll have to go there. We'll have to go there. Alrighty, here we are right now. Uncle Tom is outside. He is waiting. He is just so excited to see the vehicle. Hey there, Uncle Tom. How are you? Doing good. How are you? Doing well. Now, here is the project vehicle. What do you think about this thing? Okay. Well, from what I can tell here, there's a lot of different things wrong with it. Looks like suspension slams. Looks like it might need some new suspension. The brakes look shot. Um, what else do we have here? Well, it's probably gonna need a new paint job as well. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, I had to 
then to take a closer look at it, you know? Yeah, you're gonna have to pop the hood and check it out. I mean, it probably is gonna need a lot of different things. All fluids need to be changed, throw in a new battery, and anything else that's wrong with it, feel free to do as well, you know, because I want it to be a safe vehicle for my son. Alrighty, well, thank you, Uncle Tom. We appreciate you very much. Let us know how much it'll cost and we'll come back after we eat some dinner, all right? All right, it sounds good. It should be done probably within the next few days or so. All right, sounds like a plan. Thank you. Right. Yep, no problem. All righty, let's get on the road right now. Head down to the Connors Restaurant. Son, will you find a coupon for us? Because let me tell you, they sure have raised the price at that Connors Restaurant. Yeah, let me find, well, let me take a look in this glove box here. Um, ooh, I found one, ooh. but... It expired in 2004, oh, so... Oh, just rip that part off. They won't even notice, okay? Alrighty, we are hurrying down to the restaurant right now. I am so hungry after driving all day long, you guys. I mean, it seriously has been a pretty far trip. We drove about 50 miles round trip to get the vehicle and to drop it off at Uncle Tom's shop. But we are finally done with that and we are going to be enjoying the rest of the day. Hopefully we get a good message from Uncle Tom saying that the vehicle is easy to repair and that there's nothing wrong with it, but we will hope for the best. So let's find a good parking spot right now and let's head inside and get ready to order. Oh my gosh, it is a beautiful day out here. All right, I think we're gonna have to have hey, dinner look, outside. Dad. Look, what? this is the same car from the junkyard. Oh my, that is pretty cool. Hopefully they're gonna get that thing fixed up. All right, well, let's head inside right now. Seems like it is pretty busy in here today. All right, hmm, hmm. Oh. Hi, Mr. Junkyard Worker. Oh, hi there, oh, sir. Oh, hey, hey, how's the project going, guys? We just dropped it off at the shop. Hopefully we can get it fixed up and, you know, get it back on the road. That would be nice. I'd love to see that thing up and running again. Yeah, us too. Well, hopefully it doesn't need a new engine or anything crazy like that. No, I shouldn't. All right, well, let's see here. Hmm, send any day on what you want to get? Ooh, maybe could I get um, one one double cheeseburger, two fish fillets, three orders of fries. Uh, let's see, maybe five orders of custard, two milks, one orange juice, and another classic burger. What, what are you feeding a whole family over there? My goodness. Yeah, what in the world? You get one thing off the menu. Look at this. It's like $5 per item here, son. You could get one fish filet sandwich. That's all you need. Okay, we're not eating the entire restaurant. Look at all the other customers here. They want to eat something too, okay? The fries are 50 cents though. Well, we don't need fries. That is unhealthy. All you're getting is a fish filet, and that is all. You're no Excuse fun. Me. Excuse I want to get a double cheeseburger. Excuse me, sir. Um, I was next in line. Excuse me. Thank you very much. Hi there, sir. One fish filet sandwich for my son over here, and I will have a double cheeseburger. Thank you very much. No, sir. Can I get uh three orders of French fries no, and another no, cheddar no, bites? No, Please ignore him. I'm sorry. He's not paying. All right. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Alrighty, son, let's head outside and let's go enjoy our meal. They're gonna bring it out to us. I mean, it is just a perfect day to be outside and to enjoy our meal. What do you think, son? Yeah, it's a really nice day out. Uh, you sitting by yourself? Honestly. Yeah, because you wouldn't buy me a fish fillet. Seriously, don't be a baby. You know what? I'm just gonna have to sit over here, okay, son? Seriously, son, I am, will call your mother and I'll take that vehicle back to the junkyard if this is how you're gonna be, okay? Seriously? Well <laughs> no, we don't need to do that. Yeah, we do. All right, uh, son, is that what? your car? What is this? Oh my God. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, 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 what in the world? What is going on? That is literally our vehicle. Oh my you gosh. You and the beautiful red truck, stop Excuse right me. now. Excuse me. Hey, stop that truck. Where are you going? Excuse me. What in the world? How did he get our vehicle? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Excuse me, sir, excuse me. Out of the truck right now, what are you doing? Guys, this is literally our vehicle that we bought from the junkyard. How did he possibly get it? Like, what is going on right now? I am actually scared. I'm down the police right now. I'm down the police right now. Uh, hi there, we are here at the Connors restaurant right now and someone has stolen our vehicle and trailer. Please send the authorities immediately. Thank you. Um, excuse me, sir. This is our vehicle. Why do you have it? Okay, that is literally our vehicle. We just purchased it from the junkyard and dropped it off at the mechanic. Sir, don't be making up stories. You did not, where did you buy it? Okay, I have the receipt for it right here. Okay, 
You know what? And I just dialed the police right now. This is crazy. This is crazy. You know what? I'm going to call Uncle Tom right now and see what has happened. Uh, hello, Uncle Tom? Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, he well, hi. Um, I have a really bad news for you. Um, the car got stolen. Yeah, we're here eating dinner here at the Connor restaurant and someone literally has our vehicle and they're you. driving away. Oh my gosh, the police are pulling up right now. Excuse me, stop right there. What are you doing? Police, help, help, help. Oh my I gosh. I detached it. They, I detached it. They literally dropped the vehicle. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Excuse me, police. Um, someone has literally stolen our vehicle. They're headed on the highway. They literally had our trailer here. Luckily, my son detached it from their truck, but they literally stole it from our uncle's shop. Absolutely crazy, okay? So get on the highway and go chase after them right now. They are driving a red F-250 and they headed west down the highway. Hurry up, please. Oh my gosh, son, we are just really, really lucky. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, we just saved our vehicle from being stolen. This is not commotion, okay? Oh gosh, no, the alarm is going off. I am sorry, sir, I am sorry. All right, you know what, we'll get out of here. Let's just get this thing and let's take it back to the mechanic shop. I cannot believe this has happened, you guys. Seriously, absolutely crazy. All right, we're gonna get this thing reattached right now and we are going to be getting back on the road here in just a moment. I just cannot believe, oh my gosh, the criminals are right there. They're literally right there. Son, get in the vehicle right now. We need to go. They are trying to steal our vehicle. This is absolutely crazy. I truly cannot believe the day that we had. We're going to have to get this back to Uncle Tom's shop as soon as possible. And we are going to have to lock the garage doors and make sure nobody takes it. You know, this is a very highly desirable vehicle and they literally just stole it from his garage. So they are actually chasing after us. Son, what do we do? They're chasing after us. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my God. You should cut them off. Son, this is serious. No time for jokes. Okay, he is literally following us. We need to get down to Uncle Tom's garage right now and we need to hide and get the vehicle locked. Dial the police again right now and let them know that our location is down the industrial road and hurry up as soon as possible, okay, son? Okay, uh, the police have been dialed. They know that we were at Joe's. Oh my goodness. All right, here we are. We're going to get this thing in the garage right now. Okay, we locked the garage doors right now. This is just crazy. I cannot believe it. Tom, how did this happen? What in the world, what in the world happened? Yes. Oh my God. I just, I literally was just uh, out front doing computer work and then I just see you coming uh, up with the stolen vehicle again. And then I, I broke into his truck. Back, you guys. Oh my gosh. What is going on? This crazy man's chasing after us. Call the police again. Where's the police? Guys, this hey, is hey, absolutely hey, crazy. Son, get you out of the man's truck. Too. Sir, you wait right here. Police are going to be here shortly and they are going to be dealing with you, okay? What a day it has been. You know, we are just glad that we got the vehicle back and that, you know, our uncle will be able to repair it. So, I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to join the Wanny family today. If you made it to the end of the video, you are awesome, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.